Thank you for joining me once more. In this video, we are going to be talking about Yvonne Nelson. Everywhere Twitter is on fire for some days now. You know, Yvonne Nelson have been trending for different reasons. But what I want to talk about in this video is, have I greeted you? <laughs> Welcome to my channel. But if you are a returning subscriber, Thank you for coming back. If you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Lillian. Yvonne Nelson have been trending for like three weeks now. I could easily crown her record-breaking trending celebrity straight. They're saying you trend from the beginning till a month. Now only you trend. But why I want to talk about her in this video is because there are a lot of audio circulating the internet that her mom is hospitalized and some people are saying a lot of people have criticized that based on the book that Yvonne Nelson wrote and a lot of people have been bashing Yvonne Nelson. I have seen a couple of these videos though the voice over the voice note is done in three which I don't understand. But I wanted a better understanding of that but still I couldn't because I'm looking for a better understanding of the story yet i could not i couldn't i don't understand what they are saying in the local dialect but a lot of people at the comment section are bashing Yvonne nelson a lot of people have been calling her selfish ungrateful and all that as a mother i feel like we can talk about this after all i've talked about her when the book was newly released give my take about her book here on my channel so why not let's go back there and talk about this so her mom is hospitalized and a lot of people are blaming her they said she brought about that she wants to she's just a bad kid she's an ungrateful child this is what do you need a father for according to some people the comments are done in english even though the audio is in three but people are writing in english a lot of people are saying what does she need a father for with all the money fame she has you have lived like almost 40 years of your life what do you need a father for without a father you have lived that long you didn't die so why now why all this why do you decide to disgrace your mother in public ask me for me hmm? her mom is always right yes but truth be told do you know that african mothers we used to getting away with a lot of things that honor really shouldn't get away with yeah because we cannot say anything because people are going to bring that portion of the bible that says obey your mother or honor fine okay obey or honor your mother and father Hey, they are going to bring it up to your face to say, see, 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 don't talk to your mother, don't talk back. Anything your mother says, your father and mother says, you do, just do it. Including fathers like mine that were never in my life. People will still tell me to be good to them, to listen to them. Imagine. So now let me tell you guys something. Uh, now, I, I feel like those people criticizing Yvonne lack understanding of the true picture of what Yvonne Nelson may have been dealing with see it is different for you to not have a father at all at all in her case yeah her anger may not be because she don't have a father of course she have a father because someone made her her mom is not mary that just took in by the power of the holy ghost to have jesus christ that pregnancy is as a result of intercourse that she had had with a man to get it for her to get pregnant and produce her so nobody is a bastard you get it but what i think strongly may be for nelson's anger is the fact that her mom didn't tell her the truth See, this is why i keep saying that don't let anger get the best of you or don't try to deceive your child tell them the truth okay tell them as it is all right if the child's father is late and the child starts to ask you where is my daddy mommy what of daddy tell that child the truth oh, in a case where the man passed away you can say okay hold on don't worry i'll tell you okay your daddy left you that you know with time when the child starts to understand what it means by when someone dies like what it means to what it means i mean when a child starts to have understanding of a lot of things you open up tell them the truth so i think in the case of yvonne here she's angry not because she don't have a father she's angry because she was lied to it is different for someone to lie to you and it is different for someone to say i don't have it you don't have it you get it it's not the same thing like someone telling you see there is for you but it is not for you 
so if Yvonne is angry, it's not because she don't have a father. It is because her mom lied to her. I mean, that lie that her mom told her, according to the book, is twice so. Just one person, two fathers. And then only for you to realize that you have done TNA tests with these two people, it didn't match. The first person, she didn't even, I mean, she did the DNA test, it came negative. And then she came back to her mom and asked when the man passed on and the man already told her he's not her father. After Mr. Nelson Oko has passed on, she did another DNA test again with another family thinking they have her, her, her siblings you know she got close to them she got close to them because her mom told her that that is her father a certain former politician who is also passed on now the, the mother said that is the father so she had to get close to the the man's kids and then do a dna test with those ones and then realized that they are not family they are not blood related they are not the dna test came out negative so this is someone that have been lied to severally not once twice okay twice or is her mom trying to tell us that the people she did the dna test with i mean two not one no are they also not related to the man and these are kids of the man that looks like the man if Yvonne is angry, she's not angry because she need a father for a trophy or something. No, it's because she has been lied to. Will I feel good if any of my kids write a book about me like Nelson did? Wrote a book and wrote a book and include her mother and expose everything like that. How will I feel? If you ask me, if that question is thrown at me, I'll tell you, I won't, I won't be offended. All right? My kids are free to write whatever they want to write about me but one thing for sure that i know is i won't lie to them all right my first used to since her dad took us back to my family and abandoned us for good because of her disability when she was a lot younger than she is now she used to ask me mommy what of my daddy well won't i won't i see my daddy you know gradually gradually i used to tell her don't worry i'll tell you more your daddy is not here just don't worry about him, okay? You're going to be okay. She tells me, okay, okay. So she went from wanting to know him to becoming angry. And she went from that anger to becoming no longer okay. She went from, you know, these stages like that. So it is entirely different if I have lied to her to say, okay, see your daddy there. When I know that that person is not her father, just, just to get her to be happy at that moment or just back, just to get her off my back i'll just point at anybody and say that's your dad when i know too well that that is not her father so if that child grows up what do you think will happen they will be angry so if yvonne's mom have told her the truth from the beginning i don't know your father i don't think yvonne nelson will want to expose her mom to the world like she just did in this book i strongly believe that she didn't do it on purpose. She didn't do it because she hates her mom. She didn't do it for validation. She did it because, see, you have been lied to not once, twice. Okay? Right now, I'm dealing with me having to deal with Wendy, my little girl, always telling me, in her case, she's not asking for her daddy. She's telling me, mommy, call daddy. <laughs> Wendy has started talking. She said, mommy, call daddy. Call daddy. Like, some days she do that for a long time. Call daddy, call daddy. Mommy, call daddy. She worries me. And I keep telling her, oh, don't worry, your daddy is busy. All right? So I just want her to grow up a little bit more. With time, I'm going to tell her, okay, as it is, your dad is around, but he's too busy. He doesn't have your time. He's in a relationship with another person's mother who does not want him to see you. All right? I mean, she's going to grow up knowing the whole truth. Instead of me coming out to lie. I know someone will criticize me for <laughs> for wanting to tell my daughter that. No, I will tell her as it is. Your daddy is busy with another woman. And the woman have said that if he nears you, she will leave the relationship. So you have to be strong. And eventually he's going to be strong. So if she grows up and still want to write a book about me, that is fine. I know that I've told her the truth. So please, I don't think, if you ask me my own opinion, in my own opinion, I don't think Yvonne Nelson just felt good or just feel like using her mom to trend. No, it's not like that. Yeah, I talked about her story here. I talked about a friend of mine who lied 
on someone else, you know, with her pregnancy. She confided in me. I have lost contact with her, so nobody should come later and say, who is that your friend? I don't know anything about her again. We lost contact. But before then, she already opened up to me that that guy is not the father of her baby, but she lied because someone has to be the father. She got to get her son a father, and then she got that guy for him. She already said that guy is not the father of her baby, but she needed a father for her baby, and that guy has to be the father. You see, even though the guy is not taking responsibility, he's not doing anything for the baby, he doesn't care about the baby, he just overlooked the child, he, don't, he didn't even name that child, he just overlooked her, you, you see? So do you think in future, if that boy grows up and writes a book about my friend, I'll be angry with him, I'll support him. Okay, because there are levels to it, man. There are levels to the things we do. This little child you're looking at today, feeling like, oh, this one is a baby, doesn't know much. My dear, that child will grow up knowing things. So I think the best thing to do, just start to tell them the truth early. Right where my daughter is right now, my first baby, she's in that place where she no longer cares. Like, already, I've told her, don't worry about your daddy, okay? Maybe in future, when you make it, he will come looking for you. And that will happen. But it shouldn't be me. I mean, she will know that I told her the truth. Rather than me lying to her to make her feel good today, when I know for sure I'm lying. And then she goes there, that man gives her attitude because he's not her father. So is it not better to tell her the truth? People will tell me, I know a lot of people that will tell me, never you in your life say negative thing about your baby's father to your baby. Say so. I really can't wait to start saying it. Man, I can't wait, especially with my little Wendy, to start telling her as it is. Yeah, because it's not me they will use to sacrifice. <laughs> okay? I will tell my child the whole truth, everything. So, yeah. Just so that she will know. And tomorrow we don't end up in this situation where we are. Because this is a, a, a lady. I mean, if Nelson is one of those celebrities that have always appreciated her mother. She worships her mom. She loves her. She flaunts her. She speaks highly of her mom. So, yeah. To whom much is given, much is expected. So, for me now, I will call on you all to pray for mommy. Mami Yvonne, to get well, she shouldn't even think of falling sick. It's not the time. Get well, mommy. Come back. You know this social media dragging. A lot of people may have dragged her. They may have laughed at her. They may have said things about her. They may have said things to her. And this is a literate woman. She can read. She has a mobile phone. She has a social media account. She do read. She's on WhatsApp. Even if she don't go out there to read. There are family members and friends that will send her Posts. They will send her screenshots. They will send her a post to read. They will send her a video of a TikToker giving he or her take to for her to watch. And then she gets all this thing. He enters her. She feel bad about life. She just she just feels sick. She can't handle it because normally, normally on social media, everybody will tell you ignore them. Don't mind them. They're talking about you. It doesn't. Don't mind them. But that same person that is telling you, you don't mind them. When a little is said about that person, you will see that the person will collapse. So you see social media dragon can lead mama to where she is today. Yeah, it could be that she's sick because of the book. As, as a result of the batching she has received because of the book. As for Yvonne Nelson, she's already, she's used to it. She used to being talked about. Like me now, I'm getting used to being talked about. Okay. Unlike before where if you talk about me, especially when you lie. Hey, used to pay me, but now I'm gradually in that place where I understand that not everyone is all right, and some people feel good making up stories about others to feel good. So, even when they are saying things about me, I don't care anymore like I used to care before. So, Yvonne is, in, is on top of the world, like on top where she no longer feel anything, all right. So that is my thought on this one. I don't know. Please leave your thought down there at the comment section. Do you think Eva Nelson did the wrong thing to have written a book, including her mom and her biological, I mean, her paternity saga struggle in the book? Or you think that um, she did the right thing or the wrong thing? She shouldn't have or should have written that book. Don't forget to leave your comment down there at the comment section. Ah, all right. So... Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.